In this short video today, I'll be telling you everything you need to know about the drawing tools in Adobe Illustrator. These tools are very important tools for me as a logo designer and I'm also sure that for every other logo designer out there, these are one of the most important tools that we use in our logo design process. So I'm going to give you a breakdown of some of the important things you need to know about each and every of these tools. I'm going to categorize these tools into two. The first one are the pen tools and the second one are the um, freehand drawing tools. The pen tools contain mainly the pen tool itself and also the curvature pen tool. Then the next category is the freehand drawing tools which consists of the brush tool and also the pencil tool. Let's start with the pen tool. This pen tool is simply my overly used tool. It's the tool that I use the most. And I always tell designers that if you can master the pen tool, you can get done with any form of design. In fact, if you can master the pen tool particularly, you can decide to skip the rest of the tools that I have on this list and you will still be very good at what you do. So the, main, the pen tool is extremely versatile. You can use it to do anything that concerns creating vector designs in Adobe Illustrator. And um, here's how it works. You just have to go through here and select the pencil tool or by clicking P on the keyboard, you have it selected. And with just one touch or one click, you can start creating your shape already. So to use the pencil tool, you add one node and you go to another point and add another node and you can come to another point, add as much nodes as you want. And when you feel like you're satisfied, you can go to the first your start points and join it to create your shape uh, to make this shape look a bit more better i'm going to swap the stroke and few colors so that i see what it looks like but that's basically the case scenario of how the pen the pen tool works so to create curved lines you can start by creating one node then going to another node to hold and drag and it creates a curve and when you feel like you're satisfied you can join it but also if you don't want to have any simple straight line at all you can start immediately by holding and drag to create a curved line hold and drag to create more curved lines and when you feel like you're satisfied hold and drag to create a more complete curved lines but when you are creating a shape that you need not just it's not just a curve you need both a straight line and also a curved line you can also use the pen tool for this simply click and click the point again hold and drag to create a curve and when you create a curve you automatically see that the pen tool it's already in the curve mode so if you go to another anchor point it creates another curve so two ways you can make sure that this happens is when you are creating the next anchor points instead of holding and drag to make more curves you can just click once and it comes back to being a straight line but if you don't want that if you've already done if you've already created the curve and this is where you want the straight line to happen hold the alternate key and click on the last anchor point you created and it comes out to be in a straight line that's it for the pen tool we are going to move over to the next tool which is the curvature tool the curvature tool works like the pen tool but the only difference is that the curvature tool creates only curves so simple select the curvature tool here and make your node and then go to the other node and it forms a curve when you click the node it sort of shows you a straight line but it's not going to keep the straight line after showing the straight line if you move your anchor point it will show you the direction that your curve is going so following this direction you can create any shape that you want and it just keeps the curved shape for you so this is an almost perfect circle also, you can hold and drag if you are not quite comfortable with the direction the curve is going. So you can hold and drag it to the way you want the curve to be. And you can also do that anyhow that you want. And if you create a curve, but you want to make it a straight line, just like with the pen tool, hold the alternate key and click on the last anchor point you created and it turns it into a straight point. When I'm dealing with a lot of curves on my sketches, I find the curvature tool quite hand, quite helpful because the curves that it creates are very smooth, uh, smoother than the one that you get using the pen tool. So you, you may not have to worry about coming back and making a lot of adjustments while using the curvature tool. And that's it for the first category of my drawing tools. The second category is the freehand drawing tools. I call this freehand because it's exactly how it feels. All you need to do is to freely draw the shape that you want let's start with the pencil tool which is also the most versatile out of the two tools in this category 
for the pencil tool you can select the pencil tool by clicking n on the keyboard and also by selecting it here so with the pencil tool you can draw any shape that you want and it converts it into a vector immediately i like the pencil tool because there are certain things that you want to create and using the pen tool might feel a bit hectic having to draw all the nodes and using the curvature tool might not be quite smooth again because it makes only curves but with the pencil tool you can simply draw out the shape that you want and then make your adjustments later but that is not even the um, the most important use uh, of the pencil tool if you ask me what i use it to do mostly is to customize shapes and objects so i'll show you we're going to draw a simple rectangle here and using the pencil tool i'm going to customize it and make some adjustments to how it looks so you can just move from one edge of the shape to another edge of the shape and you can create any adjustments that you want anyhow that you want it and i can use it to customize shapes as well or customize text as well it comes in handy when i want to make my certain logo design you look a bit more unique than it does so you can use the pencil tool to draw some extra extensions to your shape anyhow that you want it and if it's something that you love or something that you want to add just to make the shape look a bit more unique than it already does and it does a very good job at that so this is a very good way to customize your shapes and make sure that they are not just you know boring looking and they're not just basic and i think this is the most important use case scenario of the pencil tool i just i love its ability to help you customize shapes and text in very unique ways now we move over to the next and also the last tool in this video which is the brush tool the paint brush tool actually this tool works exactly like the pencil tool the only difference is that it doesn't have that ability to customize shapes and text like the pencil tool does but aside from that it helps you draw certain shapes so select the paint brush tool and using it you can hold and drag to create any shape any writing that you want and you can see that when i'm drawing the shape it doesn't look quite good in the beginning but when i'm done it settles in and creates a very smooth looking drawing and you can increase the stroke and the type of brush that you're working with and it still follows the same pattern and i use i use the brush tool a lot when i have uh, I, I need to draw something that has very good detailing and the pencil tool doesn't really come in handy at that point so using the brush tool you can easily draw distance and you are quite sure that when you are done it creates a very smooth looking shape for you that brings it to the end of this video these are the main drawing tools that i use in my logo design process and um if they come in handy in any way let me know and um till next time thanks for watching